it was just such a relief to walk into a room and have people nod their head, yes, I've been like that, or yes, I've experienced that. Because I don't think I realized how dysfunctional it was until I heard other people share how it could be. I found coming to Al-Anon that there was some sort of common ground, a, a feeling of acceptance and learning that alcoholism was a disease and that I played no part in, in causing it. And I was uh, very limited to, to even think that I you know, could cure it. So uh, as I came to meetings, I learned that I cannot control it. So if I wanted to be healthy, ha uh, healthy and happy, it was up to me. In Al-Anon, I learned that I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and I can't cure it. And that gave me some relief in the beginning. I really, I'm thankful that they say come for six meetings because I didn't want to come, but I did want to do what, was, what I was told to do. I learned what it meant to be to have um, a place where you can go where you know that you're not alone, where you can share what's in your heart, your mind, and your soul, and know that you're not going to be criticized for it. Know that you're not going to be judged for what you did. Know that it's okay to love an alcoholic, and it's okay to start to learn how to love yourself, how to keep the focus on you, and how you're worth it. One of the first things I learned was that I wasn't responsible for the world. There was just a huge weight lifted off my shoulders as soon as I came into these rooms and found out there were people that believed that, <laughs> that could laugh, that could come into the room and sit down and hear other people sharing about these things that I just thought were terrible, and they were laughing about it. And it was because they had let go. And, you know, the slogans teach us, you know, these just very quick little things we can say to ourselves, um, you know, first things first, let go and let God and just, you know, restore ourselves to sanity even for a minute.